Introducing the all new Corolla. Three, two, one, go! Woo! The dirt was turned this morning, signifying the beginning of the $1 million rehabilitation project for the Assen and Aguada Bridges. During the groundbreaking ceremony held at the Assen Memorial Park, Governor Eddie Calvo spoke about the significance of the bridges which appear to just be a regular part of the roadway. For most people, those bridges, they don't even know they're there. But those bridges are so important, so important not just to the livelihood of everyday uh, Guamanians that make it north, south, south, north, but also for, to ensure that commerce occurs in this island uh, from our port to the south, uh, to the major populations and commercial centers to the to the north. The project is fully funded by the Federal Highway Administration and it will strengthen the structural capacity of the bridges, something that Asin Maina Mayor Joanna Margaret Blas says is important for the safety of those who travel through Asin along Route 1. It is 2014 and we the island, especially in the village of Essen, need to be proactive with safety. And one of that, as I grew up right across the road here, we always see people driving into the river. Those were my days growing up. And I have witnessed how this river is really 100% needed so that all those passing by Essen can get through to PD. Department of Public Works Director Carl Dominguez says the work by contractor Maida Pacific will help ensure that the island's roadways are ready for the coming military buildup. They're going to reinforce these two bridges so that these two bridges can take uh, the very heavy loads that we anticipate uh, the, the military bringing into Guam and also the uh, different construction companies that are, are going to uh, build the infrastructure for the military buildup that's uh, uh, going to be here in the coming years. The Aguada Bridge will be the first of the two bridges to be rehabilitated and in the case of both bridges, two lanes of traffic will be closed at times while work is ongoing. Betsy Brown, PNC News.